Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mona and I'm the girl with the ambulance conversion. If you haven't followed along, I've actually been living in my ambulance for about a month now. I've only been parked in my dad's backyard, but it gives me a chance to get used to the space and see how it works. So what I did find out is that a lot of things worked really well, but um, part of my design layouts also didn't work very well. So I decided to redesign my ambulance conversion to make things one more efficient and two better looking. <laughs> I love the way it turned out already and it's been a great time living in it, but some things work a little bit better than they should and some things don't work enough. So we're gonna fix that problem. Stay along to see what it looks like now and then a little design layout and hopefully y'all will see the rest later on when I finish my conversion. So keep on watching. This is my setup for my sticker business. I try to run all my business stuff in one little area. I also have some of my shipping supplies up in this side. This works out very well. It gives me a nice large table to work at. This is actually the backrest for the couch and I have more storage underneath. It works great. I love being able to stand up and work, but the hassle of having to take down my couch every day and then having to also put down the bed is a lot of work on top of the bed is also around 50 to 60 pounds so it's heavy and it's not fun to lift every single day with the backrest you have to take off the couch cushions you flip it up or flip it down so it's a lot of moving around in a small space which doesn't work very well so i decided that instead of having a murphy bed instead of having to take it down and put it back up what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a horizontal bed layout. I'm going to have my sticker storage underneath the bed. And then I'm also going to do a little permanent kitchen setup so I don't have to move my kitchen every single time I'm trying to cook. So this is my little dining room kitchen setup as of now. What I do have is I have a flip up compartment for my camping stove underneath. I have my toilet in this little compartment underneath and then I have a two-person table right here. This chair slides out, makes it nice and easy, and also has shoe storage underneath it which works very well. I have my hidden trash can, my sink, my fridge. Everything works great except for the fact that I don't have a permanent bathroom so using the bathroom while someone else is in here is a challenge and it's not fun. <laughs> So I also have my shower currently built in the frame that my stairs were for the door. And instead of that, I decided I'm going to get rid of this cabinet, I'm going to move my kitchen stuff next to my bed, and I'm going to build a permanent bathroom right here. I'm also going to extend this cushion into this little cabinet corner right here so that I have more seating area. And it makes it a little bit more comfortable for my friends and family. So that's my little mini tour of what it looks like now and my ideas for the new renovation. What I'm going to do right now is do a little time lapse of what it's like to actually work in a small space and show you how it works now and then later on there will be an updated video on my new setup and how it works better with my new build. So stay tuned, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Subscribe if you would like to follow along for my ambulance conversion and see me travel along the United States later on this year. If not, keep on scrolling. I hope you'll have a blessed day and stay tuned for more.